fans react to the massive news of Oasis reunion. Yes, you heard it right. Liam and Noel finally back together. They're finally friends again. They're finally brothers again. They're finally bandmates again. They're finally on good terms. And we're finally, I think maybe for the first time in 15 years, maybe, I think it might be 15 years, we are getting an Oasis tour with both main members of Oasis performing. And I cannot wait. Obviously, we know this isn't because, you know, they suddenly realize they love each other. This probably is because this is a big money maker you'd imagine especially considering the amount of time they've been away how popular oasis are this is going to be probably one of the only times they could probably make this kind of money because they're going to go on a proper tour it's a long tour they're going to be playing several dates in wembley and shit so they're going to be making the monies the merch attached to it i think there's a bunch of brands i think i saw represent you know a bit of a shitty brand really it's kind of the uk fear of god but they're doing capsule collections so there's gonna be a bunch of brands making um you know capsule collections and merch collaborations with them they're probably gonna have loads of other different types of activations you know hotels are gonna be making a bunch of money um you know airlines whatever everyone's gonna be raking in the dough when it comes to fucking oasis and more importantly more importantly the baggy sellers anybody that sells baggies of any sort of illegal substance is going to make a ton of money people that sell adidas shoes people that sell fucking stone island anything else included they're going to make a fucking killing because everyone's going to be planning their outfits planning their baggies and what they're going to be taking with them and their trims when they go to the oasis tour so let's check out this article closer to the bbc it says fans react to the massive news oasis reunion tour it says on tuesday the rumors were confirmed it's definite in a press release, Liam and Noel Gallagher confirmed Oasis will reunite for a series of live shows next summer with gigs in London, Manchester, Cardiff, Edinburgh, and Dublin. And the funny thing is, I think tickets go on sale on Friday, and this is for a tour that's happening next year. And most likely, this will sell out in minutes. And according to, I think, the official Oasis Twitter account, I think the rumours were that they were going to perform at fucking um, Glastonbury. But allegedly, they said not performing, no festivals. So they're not doing any festivals next year. The only way you can see them perform, allegedly, according to them, again, they could be lying. This could be some like, you know, who, you know, this could be a little bit of a, a little bit of an okie doke. But according to them, the only times you can, 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 can see them perform live will be during this live tour. It continues. Fans in um, Burnage, where Oasis are from, um, can't wait. They said they're going to be a big part of my life growing up. Said one woman who has an Oasis tattoo on her back. I'm so excited. We grew up around the corner from Noah and Liam, said another one. You can't put a price on a band such as Oasis, can you? Um, Burnage people will pay to see them, and so will everyone else. The news also sparked a massive reaction online and flood of memes and jokes. Oasis reunion this year is an era store for people who can't stand up without their knees sounding like elephant walking on bubble wrap is funny. Blur should, um, Blur should launch a comeback gigs in the exact same dates as Oasis and really give the authentic 90s vibe another one wrote. So here's the dates. You got the 4th of July in Cardiff. You got the 11th, 12th, 19th, and 20th of July in Manchester. You got the 25th, 26th of July, and the 2nd and 3rd of August in London, Wembley. And then you've got the 8th and the 9th of August in Edinburgh. And then you've got 16th and 17th in Dublin. Most likely, most likely, you'd imagine there's probably going to be room for extra dates because I'm sure these dates are going to sell out in a fucking flash. They're not going to hang around. So most likely, if the demand is really crazy, or as crazy as I think it will be, or as it should be, most likely they're going to add more dates. Um, I think either side, I think you're going to see way more dates be added on. But regardless, man, these are gonna these tickets are going to go by so fucking quickly. I'm definitely going to make an effort to go to one of the London dates. I say all the time about fucking events, but I actually will go to this because I don't think you're going to have many chances of seeing Oasis perform. And really and truly, like, you know, based on some of the performances I've seen of Oasis online, anyway, video, you it's a, it, you get your money's worth. It's a good sing-along occasion. They're one of the best live bands in the world. It's quintessential live performance. There's not a lot of, like, bells and whistles. There's not a lot of crazy pyrotechnics or visuals. It's just a band on stage singing their fucking heart out, performing their heart out, um, and some fucking legendary songs. A lot of B-sides you probably don't hadn't heard of. They go for an incredible amount of tunes during their sets. And, yeah, it's going to be a fucking good one. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be fucking vibes. I'm really fucking looking forward to it. Um, plenty of celebrities have also been sharing their thoughts this morning with the band's reunion. On Instagram, English songwriter Tom Greenan described it as massive. 
on X, a football pundit and former footballer, Stan Colomer said Oasis were part of what he reinvented British call. Even ahead of the announcement, famous faces were weighing in on the rumours. Irish duo Jedward, big up Jedward, celebrated the possibility of the union by reposting a video of John covering Wonderwall with the actress Tara Reid in 2022. Of course, Jedward, as a way to fucking celebrate Oasis, maybe potentially reuniting, posted a picture or video of themselves singing Wonderwall. Of course. Of course. How to make it about yourself. Big up fucking Jedward. Absolute legends. Um, Edith Bowman, a radio DJ and television presenter, said people would be hitting refresh on a browser as they tried to get tickets. I think a lot of people of that age, when they start coming out, and I was one of them, they were um, they were the Beatles. Um, they were a band that appealed to immediately and they connected with them. And they funny thing, listening to the music in this morning, there's something incredibly timeless about them. Yeah, because they're legendary, isn't it? One of the greatest bands ever. My brother passed down this to his son. We cannot wait to hopefully see them live. My 11-year-old is desperate to learn to play them on guitar. Great to hear. Um, Oasis' ability to win fans reach across generations is evident from TikTok. Live23 calls herself the Oasis girl on social media platforms. A huge fan, she has sung covers of the band songs online, including tracks such as Morning Glory, Cigarettes and Alcohol. She told BBC News a reunion was a huge shock as she never thought it would hear them live. Bruh, how can you call yourself Oasis girl and you had no idea that there was potential they were going to reunite? This has been one of the worst kept secrets in music for a long time. That they were going to reunite. I think they were saying it last year, but this happened this year. But like, how could you not know this is going to happen? I'm so shocked. Don't get me wrong. It's it's nice. It's been confirmed, but it's not like a shock. Shock. Come on, Oasis girl. Come on, lady. Um, Noel Gallagher is one of the greatest lyricists of all time. Slide Away is a great love song. She added that the band's music means a world to her. I'm going to try my hard to get tickets for both Manchester and London shows, but it'll be a struggle. Music journalist Kate Macbeth, also 23, said the band have an enduring appeal and the gigs next summer will feature a mix of older and younger fans. Yeah, for sure. Mostly older, though. Let's be also fair. Mostly older because, you know, Oasis older fans are ride or die. Like Similar to, like, you know, Taylor Swift fans. She has a lot of fucking weird... 40 plus year old mums that follow her as well i think a lot of oasis fans are about the same age as Noah and liam and they're going to be there in their droves but i do love seeing some of the footage of like oasis shows because you see a lot of like older dudes who follow the oasis from when they first came around taking some of their family members there like sons nephews like it's so sick nieces and shit it's great to see like them passing down the love of oasis to their general you know to younger generations as well um, they're like a generational band that people know said BBC One Edge is one B. Even if I don't know anything deeper, everyone knows Wonderwall and don't look back in anger. Katie twenty three recalls growing up and hearing Oasis as a child, but says that these days through TikTok and streaming they've managed to still have a draw. It's something that everyone could delve into, she says. The announcement was published on the brothers' social media accounts as well as the official Oasis page. The show will mark the group's first live dates in sixteen years. 16 years said the tickets will go on sale on saturday the 31st of august in a statement oasis um commented the guns have fallen silent the stars have aligned great wait is over come and see it will not be televised the band said that the dates would be their only dates in europe next year however oasis live 25 has been described as a world tour suggesting more dates will be announced soon rumored gaston reappearance is not confirmed by the band also oasis confirmed the release of the 35th anniversary edition of the album definitely maybe um, and big up um, Andrew Burnham. The news was all been waiting for. Massive day for Manchester. So yeah, can't wait for them. Honestly, going to try to get tickets. Really is amazing news. Oasis comeback confirmed. Oasis comeback confirmed. Big up fucking Oasis.